And we are back in Davos, Switzerland. Always unpredictable events here. Uh, and someone handling this for us off the crisis in Moscow from our London bureau, Ryan Chilcoat. Uh, unpredictable events the last numbers of days. Absolutely. And the Russian president is here. I just sat down with him. Uh, he's going to be addressing investors here in about nine minutes. The big opening speech. That's a big deal that he's going to be doing that. That's a big deal because Russia, the Russian president, one of the reasons why he sat down with us, wants to improve the investment climate. And so he told me that what he's going to say in that speech is to talk about the reasons why you would want to put your money into Russia. But because many people haven't been doing that, why, uh, you know, uh, he's going to talk about the problems that exist in terms of the Russian investment climate. Mm -hmm. And he said he's also going to give investors a little bit of a sweetener. Namely, Russia, he says, is talking about setting up a sovereign fund. In other words, where the Russian government would really? put its funds side by side uh, along with private investors that are willing to put their money in Russia. Let's have a listen. Perhaps now it's time to think about the sovereign fund, including the funds and the property of state, in order to attract private investment from abroad and from other countries. Now, like I was saying earlier, Russia has been lagging all of the, its BRIC peers, Brazil, India, China. Jim O'Neill would suggest really lagging. Really lagging. Of course, you know, 4% growth is not what Russia would like to see. Uh, so there are a lot of questions uh, about where Russia is going to go from here. I asked President Medvedev if he's around in five years, because, of course, there uh, is a presidential election in 2012, right. and it's not really clear whether it's going to be him or Prime Minister Putin. But if he is, what kind of growth he would like, what, what kind of growth does he think Russia should see? Let's have a listen. I like to see to it uh, that at least uh, we would grow uh, with the speed like uh, is known in some partner countries, uh, like BRICS uh, countries. Uh, we have 4% growth, which is not bad. Uh, as opposed to uh, Europe and uh, US. Uh, but that's not enough for the so-called emerging market. We should have uh, 8, 10 percent of growth per year. Now, the president's speech begins in just seven minutes. That's the opening address here. He's going to face a lot of tough questions. He's going to get questions from the audience. But also, they have this, this year well, questions through Facebook. Because Russian investors in Russia, investors in general, got big questions about corporate governance, about the fate of Khodorkovsky, about corruption, all these things. But he much, says he's going to talk about it. You're them. much more on top of this than we are in America. This, my theme here is the Davos uh, of our discontent. Right. What is the discontent of the Russians and of the Eastern Europeans? They're outside the debate on Portugal, on Ireland. Tell us about Eastern Europe. We're, we haven't talked much about that here. Well, um, yeah, they're a world away, right? Russia has no debt problem whatsoever. In fact, what everybody will, will be looking to hear from President Medvedev is, mm. is he going to buy European bonds? We don't know. China's already helping out. Will Russia? We, we don't know the answer to that. But Russia has a different problem. It's not its sovereign debt crisis. It's, it's, it's got this growth potential, but it needs foreign investors. It needs the BPs of the world to come in to help it modernize its economy, to help it do the infrastructure it needs. Because, you know, it's going to have these Olympics in two right. years. It's gonna, and and yeah, so that's, that's, that's its yeah. big tale of, yeah. of woe, really, in Russia is, is how do they get uh, people to put their money, uh, invest is, their money in, in, into the country? Is Prime Minister Cameron visible here? He's been a little bit visible. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously they come. In an austere way. He's being austere. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a totally... He walked. Di he didn't take the helicopter. That's a, that's a totally different situation than what you see mm -hmm. in Eastern Europe and in, in Russia, the problems of the UK. The, Russia is, uh, and, and a lot of these emerging economies have a whole different situation. They're much more concerned about inflation, about overheating, uh, about how they get investment and about how they can ensure that this growth is sustained and how they can do it, not just based on their commodities. So that's that's what the Russian president is And then the price of oil really matters. 